Alginol is uh, at the forefront of commercializing algae fuel and green chemistry. Uh, we take sunlight, carbon dioxide and seawater and we make it into both ethanol and green chemicals for plastics. So you know, we are uh, an advanced biofuels company and a member of bio. Algae-based fuels I think are really important for this country because they really have the greatest potential to make the world's cheapest fuel. Uh, our goal is to try and make under one dollar fuel and I think that that's really important for this country. In addition to that, we are the largest and will be the largest consumer of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases on the planet. So when we have partners like Dow Chemical, Lindy Gases and Valero, uh, these are very significant commercialization uh, partners and so for us it's a very important time to have uh, our business go forward and bring energy independence and chemical feedstocks uh, and, and bioproducts really to the forefront of this country and, and I think Alginol being on a commercial path to do that in 2011 we really are the first to be in a commercial uh, state we also have world-class partners and many of them and I think that's very important for bioproducts since Alginol will probably be the first to commercialize all of these technologies. I think our speech uh, at Bio here is going to largely be directed towards uh, the commercialization of Alginol, um, uh, also tax parity uh, and the treatment of algae-based fuels, not just for Alginol, but for all algae-based fuels, I think is of primary importance here uh, in Washington. Uh, right now, algae does not have equal tax treatment with cellulose, and I think there's a significant effort here with a lot of key senators, um, Bill Nelson and Allison Schwartz, both have uh, bills uh, on the floor in order to have tax parity and equal tax treatment for algae, and that's going to be a significant portion of our commercial development going forward. So the oil spill uh, is very devastating for Florida. I live in Florida and I think for the economy and the environment there it's very devastating. Um, if it can do one positive thing, maybe it'll focus Washington's attention on getting off of uh, deep ocean drilling and getting away from only uh, petroleum-based products, uh, crude oil and natural gas. And if we can start with algae and cellulose and all the other things that are domestic fuels, I think that really will focus attention that alternative fuels and the future of those things are very important for this country and its own energy independence.